want to show you a quick and easy way to tighten up a tarp. When you go camping, most people put up a tarp, and in a day or two, the wind comes, it gets loose. So they have to go back and retie all the knots. By tying a taut line, all you have to do when the tarp gets loose is pull the knot tighter, and your tarp is going to be um, up for the rest of the week. So here's how you tie it. In the brown tree, and you go twice on the outside, over the center line, and up through the hole, and it tightens. Tight, this way if you want to tighten it, all you do is pull the knot, and it tightens, it, tightens the uh, rope and it holds it. Let's get a close up of how I tie that knot. Tie the rope around the tree and then here we go around the rope twice and twice. Make sure that these are right next to each other upright. Go across the center rope, under and through the hole you just made. work the rope to take the slack out and that's what the finished knot looks like. Hi, Tom here again with a knot that's often overlooked by survival people. It's called the constrictor knot. It's used for hoisting food up into a tree if you're in bear country or if you're a home uh, do-it-yourselfer it's used to tie grass bags when you're planting grass and that uh, bag of grass you planted is half full and spills over in your garage. Anytime you need to tighten the top of a container. You take your 550 cord, lay it down, and there's a saying that goes uh, with this. A friend of ours up in Maine uh, came up with it. It's, uh, the saying goes, snake in the grass, the snake, smells his own ass, and doubles over with gas. These two just fold down, so this lifts up, he doubles over with gas. And then you put this around your food bag, or around your grass bag, pull these two ends and tighten it. You can also use this if you have a water bottle. You need a candy way to, to carry it, I can do this in the air. Snake in the grass, smells his own ass, doubles over with gas. Goes right around the bottle top, tightens up. You, have a water bottle. you need to make a loop at the end of a rope so you can put a stake through so it doesn't collapse on itself. Or archery, the, it's how you attach the string to the top knock. And hence it's got its name bowline. Or bowline. Same knot, two different instruments. Got a saying with this one. First of all, you make the number six, just like you write it. So you see, see the six? Okay. Okay, I like to put things, this is a tree, so that's why this is vertical. This is the hole, and here's the rabbit. You have to put your finger in here, because this is where the loop is going to go. So the rabbit pops his head out of the hole, around the back of the tree, and then ducks back in the same hole he came out of. Keep your little pinky in that loop, and that's the pole. Make a six. And then arrange everything. The rabbit hole is small. Don't make the rabbit hole big. Make the rabbit hole nice and tiny. And your little pinky goes in here. Make your six. And put your pinky in here. Okay, what does the rabbit do? Pops its head out of the hole, runs around the back of the tree, gets scared, and he goes right back in the hole he came out of. Keep your pinky in there. And you know you did it right. If you pull on it, it doesn't collapse on itself. Six. And then I like to arrange the trees straight up because trees are up in the air little rabbit hole and then you keep your little pinky here. The rabbit out of the hole goes around the tree 
gets scared and goes back into the same hole he came out of. Keeping your little pinky in there. Just tighten that knot. And that's your bowl. Close to the top of the deck very simply so you can hoist it up. Okay? More important. Plant grass, I don't know what to call it. Usually buy a bag of grass, you only use half of it, you put it in your garage. What happens to it? It gets knocked over and spills all over the floor. This knot keeps the top tight, it will never spill. Okay, so whatever you want to use it. <laughs> uh, I taught this to a, to a gallop in Maine. Uh, we were on a Maine winter trip, it was like 50 below, so we stayed in the base camp there. I was teaching knots. And I was showing her this one, it's called the Constrictor. I said, Jen, I don't have a saying for it. Jen's from Missouri, real quiet. She's a master guy. She says, Stop, come here. I got a saying, but don't tell anybody that I came up with it because it's a little dirty. <laughs> so, here's what you mean. Watch me first. Snake in the grass. Snake smells his own ass. So, you pick this up and go like this. Your mouth will pop doubles over with gas. So you just pick it up and these fold down like butterfly wings. And you put this over your thing and you pull these like you give me your Gatorade bottle. Don't step is not coming out. In fact it's a pain to get out. Sorry. <laughs> if you were gonna repel down the thing I wouldn't use this now. Use what they call a fisherman's knot. The way this works, you just watch me and then I'll untie it and do it again. You tie just an overhand knot in the first one, but don't tighten it yet. Put the rope through. Tighten your first knot, and then this is down over everything and through that hole. Basically, you have two knots, two square knots with the other ones going through, and when you pull them, they come together and they hit, and they won't come apart. Okay? I'm tight. Yeah. So, if you had two short ropes and you had to repel down the side of a cliff, this is the knot you use to take one of the ropes, overhand knot, just a loop and through, but don't pull it tight yet. Okay? Take your other one, put it through, and tighten your first knot. <laughs> now this rope will slip right through right now. But what we're going to do is go behind, over, and through that hole you made. So basically you're tying two overhand knots like that. This is what it looks like. First, first one, probably have this one down. Take one row, overhand knot. Are you to that point? Did you? Yep. Okay. Then put, put the row through, tighten it, and then you go behind, over, and through the hole. And like you saw, you just have two knots on the rope. When you pull them, they slide on each other and they hit each other. Make a loop through. But don't tighten it. The other knot. The rope. Put it through, and you tighten your first knot. Well, you think they're two knots, and they're like that, and when you pull them, they just hit each other. They're, they can't come. They can't go through the rope.